what is going on facebook world what is going on community all around the world i hope everybody is having a blessed saturday that you have woke up you feel good you feel blessed because you are blessed i hope you know that like i want everybody just to take the time to think about how blessed you are so um you know today we're going to get a little deep into uh you know, we're going to bring some things into awareness today. We're going to get deep into self-love and we're going to get deep into awareness. Peace, peace, brother. Thank you for tuning in. I got something in my hair. Okay. Whoops. Thank you for tuning in live and direct. Um, we're going to have a really, really good uh, show today. So if you're just tuning in right now, share this video, please. Take a moment. Stop share this video because this information that i'm about to give out is going to help people so i hope everybody can hear me loud and clear i'm technically at my little my little office area so just give me a second i'm setting up everything peace peace thank you i'm gonna wait for a little bit more people to come in thank you for tuning in and getting this information you can catch me every saturday at three o'clock so okay boom so we're about to go ahead and we're about to get into this right now peace peace thank you everybody for joining thank you thank you thank you so um we're gonna speak about you know tapping into your abundant reserve right we all have a reserve of abundance inside of us right and so we have been bamboozled to think that we are not worthy so it's not really that <clears throat> it's not really that we have it's the thing is how can i put it we've been bamboozled to think that money is an evil thing and so i like to just like awaken the things in people's minds and shift paradigms and just show show people how to open up their perspective and, and view money as a different thing. So um, so money is just a tool, you guys, is energy. And so what that really means when I say that a lot is that you have the ability to bring what you want in your life, but you have to believe in yourself. Like it's so very important to know your worth and know that you are, are are worthy of anything that you want into your life. Like I'm, I'm not just saying this just to say this. Like I'm saying this to be straight up. Like we have been taught, hey, greetings, 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 everyone. I didn't see all the people in here. Peace, peace, peace. We have been taught to work for money, but we haven't been taught how does money really work. Do we even know how money really works? You know, these are things that we're not taught. We're not taught how it works, and we're not taught how to make it work for us. It doesn't matter if you have this high-paying job when you're bringing in like fifty thousand, sixty thousand a year. That's cute, but what are you doing to make that fifty and sixty thousand make more for you without you having to do anything? I mean, let's just face it. We all long for like freedom to do whatever we want, time to do whatever we want. I mean, you got to really think about it. Like the, it's, a, it's the same cycle pattern. Like I want you guys to really open your mind and, and listen to me when I say this because I'm really here bringing you this message so you can wake up. Some people may get it and some people may not get it. And it's okay because it's going to come a time where this information is going to sink in. So this is how money works we're taxed on our money and then we're taxed when we buy other things right so we have been taught to go to work you know get really great uh, grades go to college you know get a secure job find somewhere where it's good benefits and you have a secure job that's what we have been taught right but not once have we been taught how to make money make money for money for, how to make our money make money for us you know because you have to think about it we work more than the time we have to spend with ourselves you know some people wait just to take that two week or that three week vacation to go somewhere that they want to go but why should you have to wait two to three weeks 
you know, to only have a vacation? I mean, why should you wait, you know, like half a year to to get two to three weeks off for a vacation? Like when I was sitting at my office about four years ago, you guys, you know, I was adding up how many times I was working, the hours I was working. I added up the hours I had to myself and I added up the hours I slept and I was working and sleeping more than I was living. So, you know, once I seen that, I was like, I have been bamboozled. Because you have to think about it. You work and you don't even get the full paycheck because you're being taxed. This is so important for us to know this information community. The reason why we are, some of us are living paycheck to paycheck and in this financial problems is because we don't know the education of finance and how it works. It's very important to know. So, you know, you go and, we, and work these long hours and then you're being taxed. And then guess what? When we go out to shop, because it's like a repetitive cycle, like we get these paychecks just to spend them all over again, right? We get the paychecks just to pay the bills and just to be able to, you know, get whatever type of luxurious material thing we want. So it's a repetitive cycle. You know what I'm saying? It's a repetitive cycle. We have to wake up. We have to wake up, you know what I'm saying? We have to think, right? And so um, so you're being taxed. So when you go to the store, you're not even getting the, the stuff at the price you think you're about to get it at. You're being taxed again. So we have to really learn what money is and how we can participate in the one person of the world that's making the money because it's out there we choose to live in the middle class because we don't a some people don't have the education and they want the education and some people just don't care and i'm only really talking to the people who are really for ready for a change because i was there like sitting at a, at a real nice job at that like for my age i was making really good money at that job but my time was more important because it has nothing to do with money money is the tool that you are using is energy you can use this tool to do what you wanted to do and still have time to spend with your family let me give you an example right let me give you an example because i did a video like two days ago about the latte factor if you can save five dollars a day right i want y'all to really listen to me right listen to the vision and if you're just getting on here if you could just hit the share button because people need to learn this we need this is the only way we're going to grow as a community each one should teach one so i'm sitting here letting you know so share this video so somebody else can hear this you know so what you really what we really need to get to doing is putting our money in places where the money grows without you having to do anything you know what I mean? You could simply put your money in a mutual fund or uh, an index fund or, you know, S&P, you know, 500. Some of these things people may not know what I'm talking about, but these are things that I study. Oh, my bad. These are things that, like, I study. Like, I study things like this. Like, on my free time, like, I'm making sure that every minute of my day that I am expanding my mind and I am learning about my finances because these are very important things to know. You need to know how money really works and how it can work for you. So if you put your money in the index fund, guess what? You know, six months, a year down the line, you your money will double and that's what you want because your money doubled by you not even doing anything. Like, really, listen to the vision. Like, I want y'all to listen to the vision because I'm sitting here giving you guys these nuggets because these are things that we need to know. When you learn, you know why most people are not successful? Because they would rather just work for somebody and be comfortable in their little secure job. But real successful people learn something. They learn a trade or a skill because learning a trade or a skill can pay you for the rest of your life. If you know how to play the guitar, guess what? You can go you can go do what you love to do and go you know do different shows and travel around the world and get paid playing the guitar. Like whatever it is that you love to do, you need to do that. You need to focus on doing that because we have been bamboozled to think that it's normal for you just to go to work every day and and live paycheck to paycheck. Like 
Come on now. So we have to break the pattern, but it really starts with us valuing ourselves and knowing that we are worthy of this. Like we have came here already with everything that we need. And I know I say this a lot because I cannot stress this enough to say that all of you guys right now that are tuning in live to this video right now, you are me and I am you. And I know it's our birthright to be blessed. It is our birthright to travel. It is our birthright to be able to just be like, you know what, let's just travel somewhere. Like I was about to go to Hawaii newsflash I'm not probably going to Hawaii anymore because of a flood but you know what I always wanted to go to Mexico so I'm going to go to Mexico now so why if I can do it you can do it you know what I mean I'm giving you the tools I'm giving you the tools but you can only show a person how to fish it's up to them to take the rod and fish it you know so part of that takes really loving ourselves, meditating clearing your mind because when opportunities come you got to think quick on your feet you can't be scary and see what has happened as we have been programmed to think that money is bad so we think everything is a scam because we're living out of fear when you live out of fear you think everything is a scam it takes you a long time to think about it oh i gotta think about it i gotta think about it but when you see the vision in something you you know it right then and there. You don't have to think. You have the foresight. But when your mind is not open, this is how you see, you view things. You view things through a narrow tunnel. It's very narrow. You can't really see much. You have to widen your perspective so you can look all around. Because opportunities come and go fast. Timing is everything. So when you start asking the divine of a blessing or a miracle i got i have the tools to help people repair their credit and everybody's like i want the information i want my credit repair i want my credit repair and then they get the information and they don't do nothing with it so what's the sense of saying you're ready to do it when you're not going to do nothing with it? We have to start doing stuff with it. The tools are out there, everybody. This is what the wealthy people are doing. They know how money works. You have two people in life. People who build their own businesses and their own dreams and have people work for them. And then you have people who work for other people. Now, if you feel comfortable for, with working for other people because you love your job, it's okay. That's I'm not saying it's a bad thing at all. But what I am sitting here telling you is that there is a way for you to do less work and be able to travel on your own when you become your own business. When you are a business owner, you're being taxed different, you guys. You got to learn the game of life and play it because this is a game and, 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 and money is a tool. It's nothing scary. We've been taught that it's something scary. You know what I mean? It's a piece of paper. It's not backed by anything. It's a piece. I wish I had a, some money on me, but it's a piece of paper. OK, we have you we have money has been different things throughout the years. I mean, our ancient ancestors came up with the first type of money. Well, you know what? They won't the first, but I'm going to use them for an example. You know what I mean? Like they traded stuff. They traded silver for, you know, um, you know, different things. That's how we did it before. Let me give you two chickens and um, I give you a, a gallon of milk. You know what I'm saying? Like that was a form of trade. It's been like that throughout the history. There's nothing evil or nothing scammy or nothing scary about money. It's a form of exchange right now me talking to you and you listening that's money my words is worth a trillion dollars plus what i speak is currency i speak wealth it's a language okay so you are receiving it so that's a, a form of exchange okay so when we take the scariness out of money, we learn how to relate with money. We learn how to use that energy to bring what we want. So we have to acknowledge what abundance really is. Picture this. So you love to go 
get your favorite, I don't know, bread at the market, right? And so your friend comes up to you and says, hey, Jamal, hey, Art, hey, Willie, I'm going to give you this um, this gift card and you get free bread for a month. I'm just using this as an example because I want you all to see that's abundance because you don't have to come out of your pocket and, and normally pay for something that you would pay for. You end up being getting blessed from somebody else. So abundance and wealth is not just dollar money, you guys. It's not. Me giving you this information is a blessing. You know what I mean? So we need to change the way that we view money because most of us are slaves to money. I got to get money. I got to have money. Money, money, money. You don't have to get anything. All you have to do is use what's in here. That's all you have to do. Because even I know you know people. I know some of you guys. If you know anybody, I just want you to um comment one eleven in the comment bar. If you know somebody personally, or know somebody that knows somebody that have has been to college, and has got a a, a degree but still struggling. If you know somebody that's struggling, or even maybe yourself, maybe you got a nice paying job. Or you got a nice job somewhere, but you're still living paycheck to paycheck. Put 11 in the comment bar. I'm going I'm to start it off. Put 11 in the comment bar if you know somebody like that. Like, welcome to the new age. This is the new age. You either get with the program or get lost. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything is happening online. Like, Every technology is popping off, you guys. So, it's important that we position ourselves because the dollar which is not backed by anything, is going to crumble. You have to really think about it. You have to really think about it. The dollar is crumbling, you guys. It's not backed by anything. Inflation, every time you turn around, gas prices is high. Are we going to continue to just look at this and do nothing about it? Are we just going to continue to see gas prices go up, bread prices go up? Are we going to continue to do this and just complain? You know what I mean? So the change starts with us and it starts with, you know, jumping over the hurdle of fear, you know, and really taking advantage of all the blessings that is out there for us because there's many blessings. So um, let me see if anybody has any questions really quick. So. So that's the main thing that really stops us is 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 fear, like um, fear of not being able to pay our bills if we leave our job, fear of our kids not being supplied for. So we just we 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 swim in this fear, and so I'm here to tell you that you don't have to be fearful anymore. You know, you don't have to be fearful fearful anymore. Let's type, let's tap into our abundant wealth wells, and let's pull out our our abundance that's inside of us, you guys. Um, I'm not gonna make this video long. If anybody has any questions, I'm definitely um, open to vibing and taking some questions. But this this right here is something very important, you guys. If we want to change our future, we have to change ourselves. And we have to change the way we do things, and we have to do things better. We can't keep doing the same things over and over and expecting different results. That's just, like, crazy, right? Like, you keep doing the same thing, but you're not getting any results. And then on the flip side, you know, time is very important. It's really not about the money, but it's about the time. Um, you can't get your time back in life. Like, you know, it passed. Like, I didn't even realize I was living in, you know, a California for seven months already so you can't get time back so I thank everybody for joining this uh this live uh feed if you're just joining the call I highly recommend you play this back if you have any questions or anything you like to share um basically what we're talking about right now is um, coming together as a community and bringing the awareness back and um, learning about money, learning that it's not evil, it's nothing bad about it. And yes, you need money to survive in this world. I don't care how spiritual you are. I don't care how connected you are to nature. I'm connected to nature too. But 
to work in this reality, you have to learn how to use your energy, your energy. And so once you get to a point when you learn how to use your energy, you won't need this green free of fiat. Oh, this is what I wanted to add. And then I like this. I'm going to end this is that when I was talking about the dollar is uh, crashing, cryptocurrency and gold are the new form of currencies. I don't know if anybody's really been paying attention or not. You got to really have a, a wide perception to see this, but the dollar is the dollar is not going to be worth anything, you guys. So I highly recommend that you start saving money in gold or you get you some cryptocurrency. And so, you know, I save in gold every month. And I also help people open up their uh, own free gold savings account so they can also start saving in gold. So if you want to start saving in gold today, and I mean literally, like seriously inquiries, like seriously opening up your account for free and picking a goal on saving every month, seven every two weeks, saving every week is, is possible. But you have to want to really do this Um I get a lot of inquiries about people wanting to open up a gold savings account, but then they don't do anything about it. So we have to do things about it. We can't just talk and be like, me, 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 and then we don't proceed forward because we talk a lot as humans, but do we really um, act upon what we say we're going to do? So if you're very, very serious about changing your life, um, you know, learning more about how to make your money make money for you. It's going to take time. It's going to take energy. It's going to take you using your brain. And um, if you could do that and you're open mind and you're coachable, I'm definitely here to help. Um, every day I'm always striving to learn more about widening um, my finances and widening my mind, body, and spirit. So I love everyone. Thank you very much for tuning tuning in and joining this live call. I am Isis Love, and I'm always here. You can catch me every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern uh, Standard Time. Before I get out of here, oh, yeah, somebody has something. Wait a minute. Before I go, somebody got a question. What's going on? In order to come together as a community, we must rebuild our families. In order to rebuild ourselves as an individual. In order to rebuild ourselves as an individual, we must learn what we are, where we have been, and why we are here. I love that. Yes. Wow. Exactly. You hit it right on the – let me let me get that a thumbs up. Exactly. Vincent, Yes. If anybody has not read the last comment from Vincent, go ahead. You're right. We have to remember who we are, and that is part of the issue, not knowing who we are as an essence, not who we are, you know, this little skin, this little, you know, brown skin and this body, you know, not this, but the essence and the being that draws within us, you know, what we think and how we think and who we surround ourselves with is going to be our environment. So thank you very much for making that point. We definitely need to take it back to the basics and really tap into ourselves and start loving ourselves more, you know, start giving ourselves more credit. Like, um, you know, just, yeah, really loving yourself is so important, you know, and loving your kids and showing your kids love, too. So thank you very much for uh, sharing that message. And like I said, thank you, everybody, for um, joining. If you have any questions, you can always hit me up offline on Messenger. Um, peace, prosperity, and power. And have a lovely, lovely weekend.